Hi, my name is Luis Castillo, and we will now cover the staff user. So to register as a staff, you click on sign up, and you'll be looking for jobs. So you click on jobs, and you now you'll enter your basic information. We'll start with your first name, middle name if you have any. You'll enter your last name. Uh, you also enter your username that you will like, a nickname if you have any, your email. You would retype your email in the confirm email just to verify that you entered their email correctly. And you will enter your password. You'll enter your confirmed password. And you would also enter your date of birth. You'll go to the next field. And now you have verified uh, your cell phone. So you'll type in your cell phone. You'll click verify phone number just to verify that uh, you have the right phone number. So a uh, SMS code will be sent to your phone. Um, so as you see here, it says verification code has been sent to your cell phone. Please enter the verification code. So you will dismiss it and you'll go down, check your messages, you receive a text message and the code sent was 9758. You go back and enter 9758. You click verify code and it will tell you that the code was accepted and now you can go on and move to the next view now we enter our address uh, we'll start off at yeah full address we'll enter the city along with the zip code and we'll scroll down to our, our state and then we'll choose our gender and now our native language and if you have any secondary languages, you can choose it as well. You go to the next view. Now here you, you will select your experience. So you can say that you're a sales, sales executive along with the uh, fuel manager and you will continue. Then it will ask you if you, do you have a valid driver license? And if you have any tattoos, you can update that there. Uh, now it's ethnicity, your specific uh, hair color, your weight, now your eye color, your shoe size, your t-shirt size, your pant size, your height, now we go to the next view and it will ask you whether or not you have a professional professional insurance. Um, so you can say you do, if not then you can leave it blank. Um, and if you, whether or not you're incorporated, and if you are incorporated, a list of choices would appear. You can put your business name and your employer identification number. If not, then you can go ahead and put your, your social. Um, and then you're being asked what percentage of the time are you willing to travel? And you can choose your choice and your desired hourly rate. So maybe you can say that 20 an hour and your desired weekly rate. So maybe you want to bring home maybe about 1800 a week go to the next view how uh, you can go ahead and take a selfie if, if you're ready for a selfie or you can go ahead and choose a, a in a 16 photo so I'm gonna choose an assistant photo I can go ahead and move it around and choose the photo and I can go ahead and go to the next view the next view, you can go ahead and you can take, you can upload a full body image if you if you if you want, but it's not really required for the registration. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next view, and here uh, you can select whether or not you want direct deposit, and if you do, you can go ahead and enter your information. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If not, then you can go ahead and leave it blank, and you can continue with the with the registration. And on this view, we have the terms and agreements. Uh, you can read the agreement. And you can agree to it. And once you're ready to submit, you can submit.
and you will get a, a notification letting you know that you successfully registered um, and as a staff you can go ahead and switch to an employer account if you have one or you can go ahead and sign out um, I'm going to sign out now just to show you uh, forgot password so I click forgot password I went to my phone number associated with my account I will click reset password a verification code will be sent to your cell phone so you should be receiving that text message and the code that we got was 133 1336 and now we can enter our new password our new desired password we enter it twice to make sure that we enter it correctly we click reset password and we successfully have reset our password now we'll type in our username uh, long, long as with our new password and there we signed in thanks for watching